Adam Rothenberg is a media personality, interview king, clubhouse manager, published author, event coordinator, red carpet correspondent, GME associate producer, and roving reporter. Thanks, Kim and Kerry. It's Adam, and I am back in the closet for yet another edition of Behind the Curtain. And today, I want to spotlight my 2015 interview with Tony Award winner Sutton Foster, who you may also know from starring on TV Land's Younger. In 2015, Sutton was about to make her solo debut at Carnegie Hall with the New York Pops. I had been a fan of Sutton's ever since I saw her in her Broadway debut in 2002 in Thoroughly Modern Millie. And I had a great relationship with the New York Pops press rep, so I reached out to him and asked him if I could do an interview with Sutton. And he worked his magic to make this interview happen, and we did this amazing email interview. I sent the interview to the New York Pops press rep. He loved it. He shared it with her team. They loved it. And everybody at the New York Pops loved it. Now, here's the behind the curtain that you're going to get from this story that you won't get from reading the interview. Everybody loved the interview so much that they ended up sending out the link in their email newsletter to all of their subscribers. I didn't know this was happening until one day I got the newsletter. And when I opened it, There was my interview featured in their newsletter. I was so excited that they loved it so much that they sent it out to all their subscribers. So you just never know where your interview is going to end up. And when somebody loves it, they want to share it. So that is today's Behind the Curtain story. It's back to you, Kim and Carrie. Thank you, Adam. And Kim, I believe our Adam is going to join us on stage because he might have a picture that he's going to share. So good morning, Adam. Good morning. And I do have a picture to share. So this is me and Sutton Foster actually at the stage door uh, after a performance of her in Thoroughly Modern Millie from 2002 when she won the Tony Award. I mean, this isn't when she won the Tony Award, but it was the show that she won the Tony Award for. So this is us at that time in 2002. Wow. I love it. So I want to point out something that, like, make sure everybody's understanding what living proof you are, Adam, because you do all of these interviews for all of these entertainers, with all these entertainers, but most of them are entrepreneurs also. And I think sometimes we forget that part. And when you talk about someone recognizing you for the interview you did, I think that that's an important part. You never know as an entrepreneur when you're doing something that it won't be picked up and taken somewhere else. Adam, I have found you on multiple places when I was looking for things that you were highlighted because you did interviews with certain people and you've been all over. So if you all run across the media personality and interview king, Adam Rothenberg, you all will know that he he is, it's really Adam. Can I say that, Adam? It's really Adam. (laughs) You can say that, Kim, yes. (laughs) I'm super proud of you. And anyone who has not connected with you, they need to go to your website and see all the interviews because you have, you have, you're, you're working your way to 2000. That's crazy numbers. I am. I, I will have an update at some point of how many interviews I'm at because I found, I'm finding time where I am going to go back and count all of my interviews. So at some point, I don't want to say when, I will have an updated number for you. And just for the record, we already know it's been more than a year since you came up with the first number, and that was 1,500 plus. So I, I want to say that out loud. You already know that there are tons of them. There are, there are some more, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying it out loud, Adam. 